Yo, you're now watching Urban Variety dot demo Ultra Notion, man. Clock in, you heard? Tap in. Uh, South Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Soundview, wherever you are. Watson Ave, Soundview, uh, you know, Castle Hill, uh, Stevenson Commons, Bronx River, um, everywhere around like that area, you know? That was just, that was my influence. That's where I came from, that's what, that's what made sense to me, that's what, uh, I started mu doing music because of this area, you know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 so it's mad dudes out here trying to do shit. How did you get to where you're at now? Uh, realistically, it's a team, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like what a lot of niggas don't have is uh, people that believe in them more than they believe in themselves. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, a lot of niggas do certain things and they, 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 uh, it's a very individual situation, you know what I'm saying? I think I think it really stems from like 90 shit, uh, 2000, early 2000 shit where people feel like uh, a self-sufficient vibe, but a lot of the, a lot of the situations nowadays today is like comes with a team, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and that's one of the things that I didn't, I didn't did from the jump. Like when I started doing music, I, I created a team, I created a situation where uh, people understood me more than I understood myself and they understood what I wanted to do and they helped me out as much as I could be, you know, helped out. So let me ask you, did this team was a team of peers or were they, you know, older folks and like management Both. Shit? Yeah, both for sure. Like it was it was it was peers that understood what I wanted to do, but you know, I'm not like I want people who's like old and, and and dealt with the situation before I dealt with them to understand what I you know don't understand. So I I don't put people that was part of the situations uh, before I even got in the situations to have part of my situation to let me know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's it's peers and people you know OG basically. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the '90s feel kind of rap that you give. My favorite group ever was uh, Camp Low. Lucini, my favorite group in the world ever was Camp Low, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you, the first song that I ever listened to that made me want to rap was Lucini, you know what I'm saying? I heard, I heard Lucini and it was, the, the, the shit that they were saying inside of that song made me like, it was like, yo, what the fuck are these niggas talking about? And like, how, you know what I'm saying? Like that song, Lucini, did something for me. Like, I don't know about Levitation in the 7, the 7 oh, show. Oh, okay, so, so, so with that being understood, okay, um, who are some of the people you want to work with? I don't mean like we talking about rapping or like, uh, like anybody. Shit, anybody. Erica Badu for sure, nigga. Erica Badu and Jill Scott. But um, rap wise, I would say uh, shit. I mean Jay. I don't want to sound cliche. Jay. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna bring back yo. Look, this is on your camera too. I'm gonna bring back uh, Black Moon, man. I'm gonna bring back Black Moon, man. My man, uh, Buckshot is fire. Buckshot been fire. Rest in peace, Sean P, man. Sean, if Sean P. P was like going on, I would have had him, man. But uh, everybody from like, you know, that whole vibe, Dungeon Family, I love. Wu Tang, I love. Um, Jill Scott, I like R and B. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm one of them niggas who like. I like '90s, 2000. Late 2000 R and B and shit. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really yeah. listen to rap and shit. Okay, and even with that, um, who, who, who you want to like? Who would you fuck with production wise, and even like music videos and, and, and things like that? To rap this. Mike shit. Dean, man, Mike Dean. Uh, as far as music, um, motherfucking uh, Benny Boom. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like as far as like, like as far as I mean, that's like. You know, that's like I think every rapper is dreaming in the sense, you know. But for you know, for right now, I feel like the best thing to do, like you know, I I don't really have no desire to want to work with anybody. I want to uh, create a platform to work with myself. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be able to like to be the next Benny Boy. You know what I'm saying? He, he he laid a platform out for like hood niggas and people who like want to do this hip hop thing to be able to want to uh, be creative and. That's, that's one of my situations. I want to be creative. okay. Okay, so now that you're talking about that, discuss your artist. That some of the the, 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 the little um, direction and video stuff that you do. You know, yeah, let, let the people know that, that you're into more than just rap. For sure. I mean, uh, Ultra Nostra. Ultra Nostra is my label. Um, to give y'all more context on it, it's uh, it's MK Ultra mixed with the Coast Nostra. MK Ultra is um, 
a brainwashing like kind of like a system that the America used to do with like past soldiers or whatever. So it was called MK Ultra Project, and them niggas used to like brainwash niggas and like uh, take information from them or give them information or whatever. And I I kind of like really felt connected to that you know what i'm saying in the sense of like just what was going on with like in music and like media and shit like that like niggas was feeding people certain things and people was just taking it so uh it was mk ultra mixed with coastal notion coastal notion is the mob and shit and uh i mean for whoever knows the mob is like some you know we grew up on i mean we come from the hood we come from certain situations so we come from like structure hood structure like Shit that like comes from like fucked up situations, but uh, the group of people who came from those fucked up situations who made it make sense, and I really like that. So uh, I turned MK Ultra and Costa Nostra and kind of like made it in one, and it was MK Ultra and Costa Nostra. So Costa turned into Ultra. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Ultra Nostra. So it was like the mind mafia. It's two different things. You feel me? Like MK Ultra is like the the the, the brainwashing junk. Costa Nostra is the mob. Ultra is the main, is the brainwashing John. Costa is no, the mob. So it's I, I, Ultra Nostra. So it's like the mind mafia. It's like the smart niggas who would pack you out. You know what I'm saying? I I, I came up with Ultra Nostra and uh, I put my little brother on. We have five. We have five artists right now. Uh, Dave Disla, uh, Faith Lee, uh, Monty Slee, um, Nas De Niro. And uh, uh, Miles Ramon, and uh, that's the that's the artist that we have going on for Ultra Nostra. I'm I'm, I'm pushing them fully on, to, on top of myself, but it's a bunch of dudes who basically like they, I I feel like they vibe is just like talking about life, but like as like a like what I did and what you shouldn't do type shit. You know what I'm saying? That, was, that that's everybody's vibe. More fiber in there. Right. Right. Talk about some of your, your your performance and your appearances abroad. Like you know, I seen you on the Jack Thriller joint. I seen you on um um on Hot ninety seven with who's that with Enough? Yeah, um, um 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 SOB's performance. Talk like talk about these kind of um platforms that you've approached and you know you you you're making a stride. You're walking through the industry. You're having conversations with people you need to have conversations with versus just imagining, oh yeah, oh you know, if I if I could talk to Envy or Flex or whatever. How did you get there? I mean, I understand you said you have a team, but like, yo, bro. Like, I mean, half of the battle, half of the battle, I feel like what a lot of people, half of the battle of life is like trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't try because they they scared to lose, or they scared to sit back and have like scrutiny behind them, man. And one of the things that I tried to do is try. You know what I'm saying? I at least tried to have people, you know, fuck with me or fuck with the things that I do. So it really started off with the music that I was promoting, the stuff that I was doing. Fortunately, it worked out for me. You know what I'm saying? Fortunately, like people really, really liked the stuff that I was doing to be able to uh, make a platform for somebody else to like fuck with. You know what I'm saying? With the company that I have. Is is a very fortunate situation, but it really comes with like I I feel like just being outside, having a team, having a team, having a team is the is the is the biggest thing, cause niggas don't even be sitting back, you know, niggas don't even think about having people that's connected to them, you know what I'm saying? People want to do things by themselves, and it, it starts with wanting to do something, but it's like how you do it. And how you do it comes with having people who wants to do it with you because you can't really do a lot of things by yourself. I mean, anything with life. You, know, you, can, you, do, no, some, you can do a lot. You know. I mean, you can do stuff by yourself, but, but I heard you, a, I heard the illest, the illest saying I've ever heard in my life was, if you want to go fast, you go by yourself. And if you want to go far, you go with other people. <laughs> if you want to go fast, you go by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go far, you go with other people. And could, you could, you know, you consider another people start state of minds. Okay, so the sneaker, the sneaker, the the the, the poster in the sneaker store, and like, how? Explain, please. Help me. I understand. think that was uh, <laughs> nigga help. says help. No, nah. I, I think that was uh, I think that was uh, motherfucking uh, shit. What's the uh, spray ground, spray ground, spray ground. Oh, spray ground. Oh, uh, spray ground. Yeah, I spray ground. Yeah, it's the homie. Spray ground? Yeah, I spray ground. I mean, again, like I said, it starts from the shit that I was saying. Like, you try. Like, as much as music you put out, as much content you put out, people will notice it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people just scared to try. I tried. Who reached out at Spray Ground? 
Um, uh, shout out to Jay, man, Creative Jay. He's um, an ambassador as far as like the creation of Spray Ground goes. You know, Creative Jay, shameless plug. You know what I'm saying? Bro oh, reached out to me. He he loved the music. Um, he reached out to me to 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 get that done. He gave you a lot of stuff. Yeah, he got me. He got me. Nah, yo, listen. <laughs> that's part of the game. You know? Yeah, blood. Nah, nah. He got me. He got me some stuff. And on top of that, he uh, the most important thing for me, he he gave the people who was part of my company an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So on top of giving me pictures, and you know, I was like a, a they gave me like a motherfucking poster job, like on, on they shit. Yeah, but on top of they shit though, I was able to. Um, Get a picture for my female artists. Get, get a picture for my male artists. Get a picture for a certain artist, and that was what mattered to me. I wanted to be able to uh, get a platform that was known to somebody who wasn't known. Do you have political views? <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean, as far as what is it? Well, the politics, you know, you know, the president, you know, the, the state of the nation, the shit that's going on in our country. I mean, you know, is that something you're going to be expressing, or are, are you going to stay with the? Um, Conspiracy theories, MC Ultra, MK Ultra, and, and you know what I mean? Because like right. you know, liberal. Because you already know what type of time I'm on, man. <laughs> like, we fucking you saying all day. Oh, check this out. So I feel like I mean at the end of the day, yeah. I'm ignorant with it, but I don't vote. I don't vote because the motherfucking you know what I'm saying the country and the and the government make sure that they uh, set up the situations before you set it up. So I might set up and, and, and vote for somebody. You might set up and vote for somebody, but the government knows who they're going to pick already. So I don't really set you know set situations up like that, and I don't really uh, put my trust in certain situations or people the way that I the way that the government wants you to. But uh, I don't want Bernie to fuck with some man. I don't want a female to fuck with some man. I fuck with Bernie. Man, he smoke weed, so everybody who smoke weed, I fuck with. I fuck with Bernie. But uh, aside from that, man, I don't really. I you know politics, man. I'm. You know, I'm from the block. Niggas ain't doing nothing from the hood. Do you have a favorite thing that you've done thus far? Whether it's one of your projects, a video, a performance. The favorite thing that I've done has nothing to do with myself. The favorite thing that I do, the favorite, the best thing that I've done was putting out my brother's keeper, which was um, allow my my little brother run it up day. You know, y'all go check him out, which allowed my little brother to um, get his first like bit of real shine. You know what I'm saying? I, I dropped the project. Uh, Last year, my brother's keeper, my little brother, uh, engineered and produced every single motherfucking song, and uh, that was the that was the most proudest moment I could I could say that I had. You know what I'm saying? Because I had my little brother that you know I didn't do so much shit with other people and allowed other people to have different like avenues and places, but it, it nothing makes sense, you know, with my little brother fucking around and nice. making beats. No, that's fine. Like, yeah, that's my proudest moment, man. Because I felt yeah, you know, he was doing beats before I even came into play. But the reason why he does music is considerable because of me and and to have him part of my situation and, and exceed what I ever thought he was going to do. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to make a beat or two and make a song. This little nigga made a whole project, and not only just made a whole project, but made the projects for the artists that we have part of our company and engineered it like he's doing the things that you know what i'm saying people don't do so that was the proudest moment i, I think i ever had is this is rap your day job look check this out this is the that was the only thing that i ever did that made sense other than selling drugs you know what i'm saying like i'm from the i'm from the turf you know what i'm saying i'm i'm banging you know what i'm saying that's my thing i've been I've been doing what I've been doing hush buys since I've been 12, 13 years old. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't really seen no other means to it. So to have my little brother sit back and actually do something that uh is legit that I built is beautiful. I built it and he's 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 dealing with it. I ain't sit back and I ain't set up a pack situation where I'm selling drugs and I could be like, nigga, you sell this. You know what I'm saying? I set up a business where he could be part of. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm proud of that.